Hey everyone, it's Mari. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming here, hanging out with me today. Um, this video is a little bit different just because it's been so long since I posted a Doodle With Me video. And this video is actually, uh, have been requested uh, by my husband uh, from a really long time. So he has been requesting me to redraw uh, my Capivara video. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. So let's see uh, if you guys like how it turned out, if my husband will like how it turned out. Um, yeah, so let's see how it goes. Uh, he specifically asked me to draw a capivara relaxing or hanging out on a hot spring under a water fountain. So that's what I tried to do. And I would just like to start, start with a disclaimer that I am not an artist, I am a veterinarian, a researcher, and I just doodle um, as a hobby on my spare time. Uh, and I actually have been watching Twitch a lot lately, and I've been watching Paper and Milk's uh, stream, uh, so I'm gonna leave their Twitch uh, channel linked in the description below if you want to check her out as well uh, but basically basically she has a good description for herself that i think it also applies to me um, and she says that she's a self-taught doodler and i think that that pretty much sums up how i think about myself as well regarding uh drawings and doodles um, it's just something that i do for fun as a hobby and I'm definitely not a professional, so if you're looking for someone who would give you tips on how to draw things or how to use Procreate, I'm definitely not that person, but I hope you still can have fun uh, watching me struggle a little bit uh, trying to draw and using Procreate. Um, and then regarding Procreate, again, I'm not an expert, but I've been also watching um, a lot of Becky Kaz streams uh, on Twitch again, and I, I, I can leave her um, Twitch channel linked in the description too, if you want to check her out. But I think um, she doesn't necessarily do tutorials, but she does uh, draw with me during her streams. And I think that's really helpful for someone who doesn't have a lot of, of experience like me or who just wants to learn. <laughs> it's really helpful to see how other people draw and how they use their tools and things like that so yeah i've been enjoying uh, watching a lot of artists uh, stream lately as well um, so yeah and then again regarding twitch i've been watching a lot of twitch streams uh, i haven't been streaming as much there anymore uh, i think some of you might have noticed that the past few uh, plan with me videos have been recorded live on twitch and it's actually really fun. I really enjoy doing that. Um, I haven't been doing it though, uh, just because uh, I I considered uh, streaming during weekdays. Uh, however, I work full time, and then by the time my work day is done, I kind of just want to relax and have some time for myself. Um, so yeah, so I have I have been avoiding trying to stream during weekdays. And then during weekends, which would be ideal for me to stream, I have been actually camping a lot, uh, which has been pretty fun. So if you like uh, camping or if you like to see some uh, beautiful places here in Minnesota where I'm living now, um, feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. I've been posting a lot of my camping pictures there on my stories. So. If you want to follow along and see what I've been up to, uh, that might be a good place to go. Um, but yeah, so with that, I have I actually haven't been having a lot of time to stream, and I actually just noticed that it's been like four weeks since I haven't updated my um, Hobonichi Weeks, which is my memory keeping planner. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm very behind on that, and I I, I need to tr figure out a way to. Uh, update my journaling as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if I'm going to be able to uh, do it live on stream again and hanging out with uh, a bunch of cool people that likes to uh, stop by and chat while I, while I do my journaling. Uh, otherwise, I can just try to do like I did last week and just record uh, whenever I have some time and then try to record a voiceover uh, instead. Um, I don't know. I like both um, 
recording types. Uh, I tend to like the the Twitch streams a little bit better just because it's fun to hang out with people. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how 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 the next videos are gonna go. Hopefully, I will I will be able to at least update my journaling because I think that's the most important um, part. Of, I'm I'm always very forgetful of what I'm doing, so I like to keep my journal updated. Um, but yeah, going back to the capybaras, though, um, a fun fact is that is that they are actually native from where I'm from, um, which is southern Brazil. And we used to see them in parks all the time uh, when I was growing up. Uh, they are really cute and sociable animals, although they are still wildlife animals, right? So uh, I don't think we should be approaching them too much or, uh, you know, trying to be too social with them. Um, but still, they are very sociable animals um, and they are also very cute. So. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to be able to grow up in a place in which we had several capybaras, so it was very common for me to see them and see their uh, offspring, so they are really, really cute indeed. Um, and then, of course, I, I, I know what a capybara looks like, right? So, I, of course, I have to mention that uh, my doodles are not necessarily anatomically correct. <laughs> so, for example, their uh, muzzle are actually more blunt and just with the nostrils um, and they don't have like this huge uh, muzzle that I, that I drew there. Um, but still, I couldn't, I couldn't actually make this sketch work with just the nostrils, so I just decided to do something along those lines because that region is actually a little bit uh, different colored than the rest of uh, their skin, I think, right? Uh, so I think it ki kind of works. Um, so yeah, I, I took some artistic liberties there, <laughs> but I think it still looks like a capybara, hopefully. I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think um, it turned out okay. I had some issues drawing water as well. I'm not really... I have some, some difficulties drawing water, um, but I think it, it ended up okay uh, in the end. So let, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, capybaras, I understand their appeal. Uh, they are very cute indeed. Uh, and the, the, the other fun fact that I would like to mention is that um, I actually have another draw, draw with me video which I'm drawing only capybaras and um, the thing is that video is one of, still one of my most viewed videos uh, to this date and it is like maybe five years old uh, so it's very interesting but I think that's just to highlight how popular capybaras still are right so that's that's an interesting fact i think um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm actually gonna leave a link here as well for the for my old capybara videos and you can see if you want to take, check that video out you can see that my um drawing style actually hasn't changed um since then regarding capybaras um but yeah uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I still have a few minutes left, so I'm gonna just let you enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this type of videos of me struggling with Procreate and struggling with trying to doodle something that I'm not uh, so comfortable <laughs> drawing. Uh, but yeah, if, and if you like to see more of those, let me, feel free to let me know as well what would you like to see me drawing. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching, as always. I appreciate, I appreciate you all being here. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your week or a great day if you're just starting your week now. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!